Hi, you're watching Floyd Steinberg's YouTube channel. If you're like me, you're following Avril Kadabra's YouTube channel. She was one of the first to bring the Dirty Wave Mate to the general public's attention. So this is a really interesting device, a very small portable audio tracker, but due to the chip crisis, you can't get it anywhere and you have to wait until June this year to get one. So in the meantime, why not use the open source version of that device, build it yourself using a PNC 4.1 and perhaps a game controller. So yeah, let's do that today, here we go. So if you want to try this yourself, you'll need the TNZ 4.1 microcontroller, LSD card and the USB cable. The TNC is around 25 bucks and we'll post a link in this video's description. The game controller is entirely optional, but if you have one, it might add to the fun. Once you get the TNC, all you need to do is to search for Dirty Wave Mate Headless on the internet and go through the setup instructions, which I'll briefly paraphrase here. First, download the latest firmware, which at the editing of this video is version 2.5.3. Next, download Tie Tools, which is a software that will write the firmware to your Teensy device. On Windows, you might run into a security warning when downloading, but don't worry, you can safely override that warning. Then, download the Touch Designer software. It's a whopping 1.8 GB and you need to create an account at the web page to get a free license. You also need the Touch Designer project for the M8, so grab that one too. And lastly, you need the SD formatter software to create the file system needed by the mate. Once you downloaded all this, connect your TNC to your computer using a micro USB cable. The manual advises you not to use a USB hub, but to connect directly to your computer, but for me, this worked anyway. Then, unzip and launch the tie tools. Again, on Windows, this might cause a security warning, but don't worry, there's no risk there. Now select the firmware file and wait until it's transferred to your TNC. If everything worked out right, the device will now show up as mate. You can now close the tie tools and install Touch Designer. Remember, this requires you to create an account with them. Once that is done, format the SD card using the app you downloaded previously and insert the card into the TNC. And next, unzip the Mate Touch Designer files and launch the Mate Display Touch Designer Toe file. This will take you to a screen displaying some sloped lines. And here, click on the tab on the bottom left corner and walk through all the COM ports in the list until the Mate interface shows up. The last step of the setup requires you to make your computer listen to the mate. To do that, open the control center shown here on Windows 11, navigate to the audio settings, recording devices, then select the mate and check listen to this device and click apply. And now, let's make some music. Let's take a look at how to navigate this machine. In the bottom right, you can see a map which shows you the screen you're currently on. Hold down the shift button and press the arrow button to switch screens. For example, pressing shift and arrow up takes me to the project screen, while pressing the arrow down key while holding shift will take me to the mixer screen. Next, let's create a drum track. On the song screen you can see columns showing the 8 tracks the M8 will give you. Press shift and right to go to the change screen and then press X to create a phrase. A phrase is a 16-step pattern and a chain is, well, a chain of 16 patterns. Now, press shift and right twice to go to the instrument screen. Here, select the sampler instrument by holding X and pressing right multiple times until type read sampler. I've copied some samples to my SD card, so I can now move the cursor down and press X to load a bass drum sample. Now press shift and left to return to the phrase screen and press X to answer the bass drum sound and then move the cursor down and add more bass drum sounds into your pattern. Pressing space will start and stop playback. Now, let's repeat this process for a hi-hat sound. Press shift and right, then use Z and right to add a new instrument. Use X and right to select the sampler once again and load the hi-hat sound. Press shift and left to go to the phrase screen again, and you can now insert the hi-hats between the bass drum beats.
Now let's add rhythm guitar. Return to the song screen. We will now insert our phrases into the song. Move the cursor to the first column and press X and then move the cursor to the second column and hold X and press right. Now the first phrase will play on track 1 and the second phrase will play on track 2. Go to the phrase screen and hold X and press right. So we can now edit phrase 01. Return to the instrument screen. Create another sampler instrument and load a guitar sample, and then insert some notes into the phrase. In order to simulate guitar strumming, I will add a delay effect to the notes on beat 2 and 4 by using the FX1 column and selecting delay there. Nice. Now, go back to the song screen and start playback to hear instrument in context. Now, let's take a look at one of the synths built into this system. Once again, create a new phrase on a new track, go to the instrument screen and select the wave synth. This is a subtractive synth, let's create a bass sound using a pulse wave, a low pass filter with resonance and some LFO stuff. And if you go to the envelope screen by pressing shift and up, you can edit the amp envelope. We can also polish the sound with chorus, reverb and delay effects. Here, I created a lead sound using the FM synth. If this video does well, I'll take a more in-depth look at the synths built into this device in another video. For now, I can use this sound to solo over my track. And that's it for today, I hope you found this interesting and useful. I've posted links to all the resources you need in this video's description. And please also visit Avery Cadaver's channel, link is also in this video's description or somewhere here. And if you found this video interesting and useful, please consider subscribing to this channel and leaving a thumbs up. As always, thanks for watching and see you again very very soon. Bye bye. <gasps> Koalas!